This guy's having like a serious in-depth conversation with himself. Hey y'all, it's Eliza. Welcome back to my channel. We are playing Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. Before we jump back into the action, I just wanted to pause for a second to show you Nile's face while Naomi and his brother Sai are flirting over here. He ships this so much. Like, this is literally me right now. I love it. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> so we were about to have uh, Naomi head back home because she is super tired after a really long day, but she developed a relationship with Sai. They're just now starting to um, become romantic. Just a, a little bit of flirting, a little bit of innuendo, and they've exchanged numbers, and um, I think this really could turn into something great. So I'm going to send her home, and we will check back with her in the morning. Naomi, who has just gotten home from a night hanging out with her new love interest, Sai, and his brother, Nile, at their house in Willow Creek. She is totally starving. Yogurt it is. Uh, so I'm going to send her to bed and she does have work in the morning. I think I'm actually going to have her work from home today which should give her some time to get caught up and since it's new skill day that'll give us more opportunities to work on various skills which I'd like to raise like charisma and debate. I'm trying to think what else might be useful for her to have. Comedy possibly, maybe logic since she doesn't have any of that. Okay, so, ah, looks like her work from home tasks today are really just to spread the word about her cause through some direct action. So we're going to head over to Uptown and the Arts Quarter uh, to participate in some protests, which would be great if that raised her fun. <laughs> I'm not sure that it will, but let's give it a try. Let's go to the Arts Quarter first. So even though that's a highly trafficked location, I'm not going to have her protest in front of the museum itself so that people don't think that she is objecting to the museum somehow. Uh, so I brought her over to the street corner. Looks like she's got a listener. I'm going to see if she can try to reach out to him a bit and connect with him and see if he's feeling receptive. Yeah, her charisma just jumped up to level six. Um, congrats. So she successfully promoted her cause. She's going to go ahead and promote her cause to Atticus as well. Only two people listened, but oh wow. So Sai is calling her to ask for a date, but she still has work to do. She has a whole other protest she has to uh, coordinate before the day is over. But I don't think, ah, Maybe we can just squeeze in a little date. Yeah. So the game I guess picked Retail the Roadstead. Isn't that like the variety shop? I don't know if I've ever been there before. Anyhow, we're going to say yes. Okay, Sai, got to hand it to you. This is probably the most unique place I've had Sims go on a first or really any date. Um, it's definitely a department store and I don't know what there is for them to do here other than buy things. They can't actually even try out the furniture. I mean, if they could sit and chat here, hey, you know, that's kind of a nice um, place to hang out, but it doesn't look like they can. So I'm going to chalk that up to a wacky Sims glitch. So there's not really anything for them to do inside the store, but it looks like we've got a skating rink here. So I'm gonna see if I can get them to skate together because that's pretty cute. Oh, this is the first time she's been out on the ice. Uh, this could be interesting. Oh good, there he is. <laughs> oh shoot, he went down. He's okay, he's gonna brush it off. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, and I just remembered this will bring up her fitness skill. So this is perfect date for new skill day. Um, I wish they were good enough to like skate together. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Who is this? 
who is this? It's Jack, so freaking Olympic champion in the background there. Just coming to <laughs> coming to make us look bad but he's slipping a bit too even though he's obviously very skilled oh wow it's not very intimate for a date but sometimes that's okay actually if i speed through this i think it makes it even funnier okay so she's reached level two in fitness and it seems to be falling a little bit less which is great he must be oop okay so She's gotten too uncomfortable to continue. Uh, I mean, I sure would too if I'd fallen over like 40 times. Oh boy. So their date actually ended and because they weren't interacting technically, even though they were ice skating together, it was not a good date. So I'm having them talk for just a few minutes to see if she can rescue the evening because um, that was really disappointing. But he seems to be receptive and... Uh, and I think we'll be okay. It's just a fluke, you know, maybe they were both nervous, who knows. They're confident people, but that doesn't mean things will always go well. Uh, she's gonna blow a kiss and then they'll say goodnight. I think that'll be enough for a first date, which was a little awkward. Oh, great. Okay, so they ended on a good note. We're gonna really quickly have a protest in Uptown. Uh, she's hungry and tired and doesn't wanna do this, but you know, she said she would <laughs> and so you gotta do what you gotta do. So she's gonna protest for no sim left behind right here. We're gonna do it as quickly as we can and then take her home. Uh, yeah, I don't think the random child is uh, impressed with your rhetoric. Let's fast forward and see if anybody comes up to listen to us. Sup, Atticus? Oh, she's all done and she did make her money for the day. Good job. Um, okay, please go home still kind of a bummer of a first date though I think she's got some lingering insecurities based on that um, from the meaningful stories or is this yeah from the meaningful stories mod so I'm um, gonna have her go take care of her needs um, she needs to use the toilet and the shower and get something to eat chronically low on fun but you know that's gonna have to wait and she does work in the morning in only six hours feels a little too realistic sometimes honestly so just fast forwarding her through work oh wow so she did get her promotion today okay so the two options for her career are charity organizer Use your political prowess for the greater good. Raise money and fund a solution for the cause you support. Or politician. Secure votes, give speeches, and become the national leader. Better brush up on your public policy. I think this would be fascinating to pursue maybe in a future generation. But I think for Naomi that becoming a charity organizer and pursuing that um, branch really makes sense for the type of person she is in the work that she actually wants to do. So she's now a friendly lobbyist, which that really sounds like a contradiction in terms, but uh, she received a nice bonus. She's got a great hourly salary. Um, now she can collect donations and convince protesters to leave an interaction. Oh dear. I guess there's circumstances in which that might be necessary. Uh, so her next shift is tomorrow 9 a.m. and before then she needs to collect some donations 25 simoleons at a time looks like she'll need to collect from two sims uh, so let's get her in a better mood first taking care of her needs real quick I did not give her this work outfit and I would I really would like to switch it to one of the ones I created I'll have to figure out how to do that uh, so she needs some fun I'm gonna have her read something real quick I love that it's literally, read something, just, you know, whatever. So since it's already getting on towards evening, I had her head out to uh, Pepper's Pub in Brightchester, where I'm thinking she can meet some folks who would be interested in talking politics with her and possibly even donating. Um, we're gonna have her promote her cause to Kellen, and we'll see if he's interested in what she has to say.
yeah, he, okay, great. So he definitely seems interested. Uh, she's going to dance with him a little bit, because why not? That will help her mood as well. Oh, awesome. So she was able to collect her first donation from Kellen, uh, and that money will go a long way toward improving the conditions of Sims. In so Kayan also listened and was receptive. Like at this point, her charisma is level six, so I feel like most of the people that she talks to are going to be pretty interested in what she has to say. She's going to get to know him a little bit before she hits him up for a donation. Now he's evil, so this may not work. Well, still, it's worth a try. Let's go ahead and ask. You never know. He may just laugh at us. Okay, hard facts, friendly smile, and just a little bit of guilt tripping. Despite being evil, he must have um, a soft spot for uh, disadvantaged sims. Okay, so she was able to complete her job task for the day. Um, <laughs> I'm going to let her dance for a couple more minutes and then send her home. So I'm just having her clean herself off because she was so dirty that she woke herself up. Um, and then I'm going to have her head back to sleep for a couple of minutes so that she's fully rested for the morning. I'm just queuing up some breakfast for her. It's one of those nights where the moon is so bright that it makes it look light out even when the sun's not up. Okay, I'm going to have her head to work by herself today. She's going to eat take care of her little garden, and then use the restroom before she heads off. Not a bad view, honestly. Oops. Well, she didn't get to go to the bathroom, but they should have one at work. All right, gonna have her fast forward through her work day. This popped up, lobby liability. Naomi spies a rival politician speaking to lobbyists widely believed to be rather shady. Naomi knows there's an opportunity to ask the politician, but perhaps there's more nuance than appears on the surface. Ah, two options, tattle the press or question the lobbyist. Well, that seems... That seems fair. Let's try it out. Naomi dials the lobbyist later in the day to inquire about her policies and plans. It turns out the politician is a major ally of Naomi's policies and explains the rumors. A new partnership is born. She collected a hundred simoleons for the cause. So that's good. Unfortunately, her own situation is rather dire. I just checked her bills and it looks like her unpaid bills from last time stack with what she has due now. So she owes 5,000 simoleons and we only have 2,334. Um, so she's gonna have to deal with that as soon as she gets home. I think the only way for us is to go ahead and have her collect some things and sell them, but she'll be home in just a minute and we'll do what we can. I didn't even have her work hard, but she's tense anyway. That's life. Just having her do the rounds of posters and snow globes real quick. That should get a few hundred simoleons. Um, Gabriel, I'm going to have to say no tonight. Normally I would love to hang out with him, but she needs money desperately. And it's already six o'clock. I did get the notification that if we don't make enough money, by tomorrow, her water will be shut off and her power is already gone. Deleting a lot of footage here in which Naomi attempts to hold what turns out to be the most disappointing yard sale ever to have been held. Wow, 20 simoleons. Thanks. Merry Winterfest. The Alto Water Company has shut off the water to your house pay your bills to get it turned back on. <sighs> Please let this be rock bottom because if it's not, I don't want to see what is. I'm going to have her head outside to sell her potatoes, which at least we've got that going for us. Um, and oh yeah, we can also breed her frogs. And then 
she needs to have something to eat to fortify her for the day. This is desperate. Okay, so she needs to make, let's check on this exact. Oh, wait, maybe it's not as bad as we thought. Okay, maybe I was reading that wrong. I thought she had past bills that she also had to pay. Let's try paying these and see if that'll get the utilities back on. That would be huge if so, because we could really use some good news right now. I wonder if anybody sent her a Winterfest gift. Oh, can go send us a present. That's really sweet. Oh, the Schmapple coffee. Oh, that's a really nice coffee maker too. We can't use it right now, but we'll hold on to it. I forgot she had this chair that we got at the flea market. I'm gonna hang on to that as well because it's not worth that much. But that's really sweet. Ah, uh, let's see if. Let's see if that did the trick though. Yeah. Okay, got her power back. It's a Winterfest miracle. <laughs> okay, well in that case, we can actually celebrate the day instead of running around in the cold and digging up rocks. Uh, so let's put on some warmer clothing and see. Okay, so she wants to decorate. Oh boy, okay, well. Okay, all right, that's fine. We can justify that much. So we can tuck it there for right now. And <laughs> I love this. Let's rummage. <laughs> She's so excited. Oh, this is cute. And you know what? She does have things to celebrate this year. She's made a lot of good new friends. She's met somebody that she thinks she likes is more than a friend. And she has a place to live, which, you know, it's still rough, but it's hers. Okay, what else does she want to do today? She loves the tradition of sharing a festive spirit with friends and family. Um, well, we're not going to have a tree. She, I don't think she can afford a tree. But uh, let's get together with some friends. She would also love to open some presents. I'm not sure what we can afford to exchange this year. And she'd love to have a grand meal. Oh, wow. Okay, so Sai is obviously feeling festive as well. And he's inviting her out on a date. Not to a department store this time. I say we go. Okay, so this probably means she won't get to do some of the actual holiday traditions. But I think this is better given where she's at right now, and given where their relationship is. Okay, she has to tell him about that date she had with Father Winter once. I'm glad she can laugh about it, because uh, for me, I would have been a little bit traumatized. I have to say, they are really cute together. Keeping it mostly casual for the moment, because on the last day, they really weren't able to connect in a way that, you know, she felt closer to him. So... We're just going to talk, and then from time to time she'll compliment him, maybe flirt a little bit. Oh good, okay, so it looks like they were able to do enough winter festy things to uh, mark the tradition complete. So why don't we have her go ahead and uh, turn up the heat just a little bit. She's feeling confident enough, so I'm going to have them go dance together. And uh, she's going to show him her rather um, eclectic moves. It looks like he's into it. So that went well and looks like Naomi and Cy are now considered lovebirds. Um, the date just ended. I'm gonna have them talk just a little bit more because uh, she's definitely in a romantic mood and extremely happy with the way things are going. Maybe just one more kiss before they head off their separate ways. Oh, he is definitely into her. Awesome. Okay. So she is super hungry. 
let's have her have some granola and get to bed. It's two in the morning and she does have to work in seven hours. I really love the foundation lighting that she was able to scrounge up. It's very festive. Okay, so she's off to work for the day and we're gonna speed through this as well. And great, so she's making almost, she's making over 450 simoleons per day, which is pretty amazing. Um, and you know, okay, I'm, I guess I'm feeling a little bit better about her bill situation. I'm still wondering what else we can have her do though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Naomi really needed some fun. So I had her come out to the karaoke bar with Michelle, but uh, kind of regretting that decision. Let's just back up where it's safe. There we go. That's better. She is much more enthusiastic than talented. Let's see if Michelle will sing a pop duet with us. Oh, it is contest night. Sims can test their silky singing skills by selecting singing karaoke contest. The winner will be announced at 11 p.m. Okay. Well, so this is just a warm up then. And also... Yeah, oh wow, I hope Michelle doesn't enter because she's actually a good singer. <laughs> oh wow, looks like Precious dressed up for the occasion. She looks like she's running away from her own wedding. Oh, they are amazing. Um, Let's go ahead and have her sing... Ah, uh, shake and not stirred for the karaoke contest. Please cross your fingers and knock on wood with me that she's not gonna totally crash and burn here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Should I just mute the uh, sound here? <laughs> oh wow. Precious is like, I uh, just remembered I have some paperwork to do. Mm. Oh, she did her best. Let's go chat with Arvid and Moe. Oh, well. Oh, poor thing. She's embarrassed for the next 11 hours because her singing skill isn't quite what she wants it to be. Okay, she's feeling a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and have her add to her Simscram story. And check our social media timeline. Shoot, Denise, she bested us by three points. Darn it. Well, okay. We'll come back another night to try to take back the title. This guy's having like a serious in-depth conversation with himself. Please appreciate with me the facial expression that Naomi is currently making after Sai showed up at the karaoke bar and began flirting with her. I think her brain has temporarily shut down. She may need to reboot. So I wanted to mention, um, because of the pace that I actually like to play at, I've gone ahead and adjusted the um, sim lifespan from normal to long, which I know isn't um, in keeping with the legacy challenge rules, but I'm not trying to uh, win any particular number of points and it's more important to me that the um, relationships and the life uh, that these sims are living feels as natural as possible. So we'll be sticking with them for a while and then if at some point there's a time when it feels natural to age one or both of them up then we'll go and do that but for now let's just let them live. So they've talked into the wee hours of the morning but I'm gonna have her say good night and send her home. Oh no! I was wondering when her fame quirk would finally show up. No touching. Just because Naomi is famous, everyone seems to think that she's alright with having her personal space invaded. She'll now become tense when Sims who aren't her family members or those she isn't in a committed relationship with make physical contact with her. On the flip side, having her boundaries respected, as rare as that may be, is sure to make her feel confident to take on the day. And so technically that applies to Sai because they're not yet boyfriend and girlfriend, although obviously, yeah, 
um, <laughs> now they're listed as soulmates, he has become smitten with her and they've uh, got a mutual deep connection. Um, I looked it up, apparently the adoring sentiment is a short-term one, but um, she may be able to renew that at some point. So they are two sims, one heart, and yet not officially boyfriend and girlfriend. I think we're going to have to have her change that uh, in the next episode, possibly. So until then, uh, she is not going to want to uh, get too close to him. Maybe this is a reflection of her insecurity about uh, whether or not he's serious, because you know, she hasn't known him for all that long, and he is a little bit older than her, still a young adult, but um, it's all started to feel a little bit real to her very quickly. Back at the shack, Naomi is having a quick yogurt, and might not be a bad idea for her to have a cold shower to uh, kind of calm down a little bit before she heads to work. Uh, but she's doing pretty well. Didn't do her daily task yesterday, but that's not a big deal. Um, for now, I'm not going to push uh, her toward getting promotions because she's kind of reached a stable point. Um, I think at this point her income is almost equal to her bills. I'm going to have to check the math on that, but it's something close. So. Now anything we make on top of that will be extra. She's home for the day, so exhausted that she passed out before she even made it back to her shack. So in the next episode, I'd like to send her out on a proper date with Sai and maybe get to know his family a little bit better. And we're also gonna take a peek at Naomi's backstory to explain a little bit about where she's come from and why she's so keen to hold on to the land that her great aunt left her. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and join me next time. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye-bye.